Joining us now is Sarah Yates. She's a reporter for the Berry Times and has been reporting this morning very close to the scene. She joins us now from Salford near Manchester. Sarah, thank you for being with us. As I mentioned, you've been close to the scene. What is happening right now? Um, so the police have actually cordoned off um, one of the uh, main roads leading into the city centre. Um, we're about a mile away from Manchester Arena here. Um, cars can't get past uh, the police cordon. Um, and a lot of commuters have had to park up to three miles outside of the city centre to walk into work this morning. Um, it's, it's a very sombre day here in Manchester. Um, it's, just, it, it's pretty shocking, really, what's actually happened. Sarah, you mentioned the somber mood. What have you heard from people on the ground following this attack? Um, I spoke to um, one girl earlier who lives close to the arena. Um, she said that she actually heard the bang go off last night. Um, she said it was a huge explosion. Um, she didn't understand what had happened. She ran over to the window um, where she could see from her bedroom. Victoria Station. She said that families and parents were running out of the station and she said it was absolute chaos and, and she had absolutely no clue at that point what had happened. Have you spoken to any people that actually attended the concert to hear what their accounts were, what they witnessed, what they heard? Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to speak to anybody um, that was actually there. Um, the only people I've been able to talk to are the commuters that are coming into work this morning, um, uh, who obviously, you know, this is usually a busy route into Manchester that they aren't able to get down, so people just having to park as far away from town as possible and walk in. Well, I think what's interesting, Sarah, to talk about is the fact that there does seem to be this spirit in this city, one of UK's biggest cities, into seeing how the community has come together in the wake of this attack. Talk to me a little bit about what local businesses, community members have been doing to kind of unite everybody and also just in the effort to bring some of these families together who've had a hard time connecting with their loved ones who were at the concert. Yeah, so we do uh, know that there are still a number of um, children who uh, haven't actually been um, able to contact their parents or guardians. Um, so a local hotel just close to uh, the arena, the Holiday Inn, has actually taken around 60 children in there um, who I believe are still waiting to um, be picked up by parents and guardians. Um, other people were picking up people from the street last night and telling them, I'm not a taxi driver, but um, I'll do what I can to get you home. Um, and the response on social media of people sharing their thoughts and prayers has been um, unbelievable. Unbelievable, absolutely. I want to talk a little bit, Sarah, about those that are injured. Do we know about the status, the condition of those 59 that were injured in the attack? how serious they are? Um, currently, we, we don't actually know anything about injuries. Um, obviously, we know that the death toll is at 22, um, 59 injured, um, and they've been taken to eight hospitals across Greater Manchester um, for treatment. Um, but we're yet to find out how seriously injured those people are. Sarah Yates, there for us, just about a kilometre outside of Manchester, who's been watching the scene and the developments there.